Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello friends, I'm Marlina I'm one of the students of English Education Study Program Welcome back with me So, uh, in this video, I will explain about quantitative and qualitative research on English language teaching So, there are some parts that we have to know about this topic So, enjoy the video Check it out Quantitative and Qualitative Research on English Language Teaching Research Approach and Qualitative and Quantitative Research The research approach is a way of thinking that the researcher adopts about how the research design is made and how the research will be carried out. Quantitative research are methods for testing a particular theory by examining the relationship between variables while qualitative research is a method that explores and understands the meaning made by a number of individuals or groups of people originating from social or humanitarian problems the next developing research questions develop qualitative questions Qualitative questions on topics of an analytical nature by asking how, why, phenomena should be followed in a more personal manner, with questions of who, what, when, and why, the basis from quantitative development is grouped into three forms, namely descriptive and comparative. The next, the review of literature in qualitative and quantitative research. Literature review in quantitative and qualitative research has a function and reveals research similar to the research that will be carried out and helps provide an overview of the research methods and techniques used in research. There are variable type, nominal variable, ordinal variable, interval variable, and ratio variable based on their characteristic active variable and distributive variable. Based on the function, dependent variable, independent variable, moderator variable, intervening variable, and control variable. The next hypothesis. Hypothesis are results or conclusions determined from a study that are not necessarily true and will only be true if they are equipped with valid evidence. Sample taking techniques. There are two. 1. Probability sampling is a random sampling method 2. Non-probability sampling is sampling that doesn't provide equal opportunities for every member of the population to be selected as a sample Data learning techniques can be through interview, observation, field notes, and focus groups discussion Qualitative and quantitative reliabilities and validity how to test it? Qualitative, credibility test, dependability testing, confirmability testing, and transferability testing. Quantitative, test through test, equivalent, and internal consistency. Quantitative data analysis is a method used to answer research problems related to data in the form of numbers and program statistics. Here are two quantitative data models analysis parametric and non-parametric. The inferential statistic is a C-series of techniques used to assess, study, and draw conclusion based on the data obtained from the sample to describe the characteristic of a population. The financial statistic are divided into two. Parametric statistics are used to analyze interval and ratio data. Non-parametric statistics are used to analyze the nominal and ordinal data. The last, proposal writing. Proposal are important marketing documents that help foster the initial professional relationship between the organization and the nurse for the project to be implemented. Types of proposals. 1. Thesis proposal. 2. Prospect proposals. And 3. Research proposals. That is uh, the material from quantitative and qualitative research on English language teaching. So thank you for watching and see you!